Hi, this is James Robertson with Syncom Systems. I thought I'd take another look at the couch DB interface stuff that I'd been working on the other day. Turns out Michael Lucas Smith got bored last night and decided to whack some code into it himself. And we've made a little more progress on it. So here I've got it running. Let's move that aside. Let's go ahead and take a look at the interface, which has changed a little bit. So I'm going to query the databases. And right now, you'll see there are none. So let's go ahead and create one. We'll tell the CouchDB interface to create one called My Database. We'll do, a do it on that. And now having done that, let's go ahead and look at databases again. And there you see I've got a database. Kill that. Now let's go ahead and create an object that we can save. It's going to be a simple one, a dictionary, so that we can tell what's in it. And having created that, let's go ahead and grab a database. So what I've got here is this has been refactored. I'm going to get the default database and set it to MyDB. Now once that's done, I can take the database object and tell it to save something. So I'll save the document record by doing this. Now let's take a look at the document record. And that gives me back all the information I need to retrieve it again. The ID, the OK is the Boolean as to whether or not it works, so if I wanted to know that I can check that, and the revision ID. So let's go ahead and look at the documents that are in the database. And there we go, there they are. I can see that there, and it has one row. And finally, let's go ahead and grab that document and put it into another instance variable here. And there it is, there's our dictionary. And you notice when we pull it back, we get the ID and the revision in that. So the dictionary comes back with our original data, but we have these hidden fields, if you will, the ones that are specific to CouchDB that also come back. And then finally, let's go ahead and blow that away. So we'll do this API. Now let's take a look at all the documents in there again. And you can see that it comes back completely empty. So it all seems to work. Let's just take a brief look at the code itself. We'll come down here to CouchDB. And you notice there's not a lot of code here. I have my interface, which does the actual API to this thing. Here's the database API. And over here on the class side, I have my HTTP API. And here in database itself is where I have the actual APIs. So I can talk to the database, I can talk to documents, and I can query for documents. So I have all of these nice APIs that you can use. And the only thing I really haven't done, I've done bulk insertion, I support all of that. What we don't have yet is we don't have attachments supported, and we don't have the view interfaces supported. That's kind of the next step that we have to take. But it's a work in progress. We've got pretty good progress for just a couple days' work and it all works nicely. So that's it for now. Hope you enjoy that.